Hi everyone, this is Sally from Happy Hall Sheath Care. So just before I go to my next client, I just wanna, uh, you can see Sky in the background. Um, I just wanna sort of give everyone a, a bit of an update on certain things. Um, I'm coming across more and more clients with problems with thrushing the sheath. Um, one of the main contributing factors to thrushing the sheath is to do with their feed. So look at the sugar content within the feeds, look at the yeast content within the feeds. Um, I also have a lot of queries when it comes to treating thrush. A lot of people say, oh, you know, I best call my vet. That will be your last call. Um, you can treat this conservatively. Um, normally when I go out and I, I check the sheath, I can tell straight away whether they've got thrush. It's the smell. There is a distinctive, sweet, potent smell. The smegma is normally nice and soft and gooey um, and very sticky as well um, and, and the smell is definitely the giveaway. Um, I normally tell clients once I've cleaned them out, you know, I do the usual, the lubrication, remove everything in there and then I dilute down some hibby scrub and just wash them out. Um, I then, depending on the intensity of the thrush within the sheath, um, it's normally a, either a 7 to 10 day or a 10 to 14 day program plan that I give out to the clients. Um, you can treat this with natural live plain yoghurt. What you'll need to do is um, you do it every other day. So say if it, for instance we start on a Monday, you would do a large tablespoonful of yoghurt in your hand. Obviously wear a pair of gloves. Um, and you would just apply it to the inside of the sheath. You would then leave that for 24 hours um, and then the following day, the Tuesday, you would then wash them out with warm water, um, try and dry them off. Now, if I am examining the horse and I tell you that they do need also some treatment with some clotrimidine cream, which um, in layman's terms is the caniston cream, I will then tell you as well. So on the second day when you've washed that horse out and you've dried him, if I have advised you to use the Clotrimizal cream, you only need to use a pearl sized amount on literally two fingers. And then you just rub it on the inside of the sheath only. Um, now normally when I go out to see the clients um, and I'm cleaning them and then you know people go to me, oh look, you know, he's really liking it the mouth's up, the, the bottom lip is quivering. Um, that's normally a sign that he's had thrush. Uh, and nine times out of ten it is. And I can also tell from the skin tone within the sheath area. The skin tone, because it's been affected by the thrush, becomes very rippled, very scaly. Normal, healthy sheath should feel like the inside of your thigh. Nice and smooth and soft. So this is where I, I obviously do the examination and I'll let you know what my findings are and I will advise you if I feel that treatment a treatment plan is needed. Um, as I said before, you know, it's either a 7 to 10 or a 10 to 14 day plan depending on the intensity of the thrush. Um, so I'll always let the client know and then after 10 or 14 days, the client will come back to me and, and let me know whether the thrush has gone or whether we need to continue or whether I need to come back out and have a check. Um, let's make sure that nothing else underlying is going on also um, and then I will suggest if everything else fails um, maybe a vet intervention um, the only problem with a vet intervention a lot of the vets that I've come across are just prescribing antibiotics which absolutely makes the thrush worse um, you have to remember when us ladies get thrush um, we normally get it fr we normally get the thrush after taking antibiotics um, it's to do with the yeast content within the antibiotics itself. Um, so I will always suggest that you treat thrush conservatively, give you my advice. You don't have to take it, absolutely not. Um, if you want to go straight to your vet, then go straight to your vet. I've got no problems with that at all. Uh, but from my, you know, my 31 years of experience, this is the treatment plans that I will always suggest. Um, I'm going to pop off to my next client um, and then I'm going to uh, do another little video session on swollen sheaths um, because I'm coming across a lot of swollen sheaths as well and um, so that's my little advice for anyone that has thrush within their sheath um, and if anyone has any questions you're always welcome to contact me on my Facebook page Happy Hills 
sheath care and equine services um or you're always more than welcome to email me uh through my website email address um take care everyone i'm off for another job thanks bye